Everything that you see in this video was captured on location at what I think is probably the best place on the entire planet to photograph nesting osprey. It's almost like this place was built for this. In season during April, there's over 300 pairs of nesting birds that can put the total amount of birds up to around 1,200. It's absolutely incredible. And you get to come with me if you want. I have a workshop in this area. Um, you can capture images like the ones that you see in this. That workshop is actually almost sold out. I only have a few spots left and I'll go ahead and leave a link to that in the description and hopefully somewhere on the screen. And for those of you that don't wanna go on a workshop or simply can't, guess what? You get the next best thing right now. You get a front row seat because I'm gonna take you there right now. So come on, let's go. Being out on the water at first light is always a magical experience. In this tiny tucked away cove, the local inhabitants come to life with a swampy chorus of sound as the gentle giants that guard the shore reach towards the skies. These tightly grouped cypress trees populate over two miles of pristine shoreline, and it's one of the best places to photograph my favorite bird as it casually ponders the inner workings of the massive cypress trees. All kidding aside, this location is made for osprey photography because as the early morning sun filters across the warm waters of the lake, it quite literally puts these amazing birds in a whole new light where the colors of the bird's eyes shine brightly and each and every detail of this incredible creature is prominently displayed. Even when they come flying in so close, you can only manage to get part of the bird in the frame. The light is just beautiful here, but it's also one of the few places where you can find osprey flying through the air with huge branches from some of the neighboring trees. These birds are the overachievers of the area. Some of the osprey prefer smaller cargo, like these clumps of brown dead grass, foliage that looks like filler in a florist's beautiful arrangement, and dainty bits of delicate Spanish moss. Being that they are fish eaters, seeing osprey carrying sticks, moss, and other forms of vegetation can only mean one thing. It's osprey nesting season, and that's exactly why we are here. With over 300 pairs of ospreys sprinkled in over two miles of shoreline, this is one of the best places on the planet to photograph these birds. Their incredible massive nests, and of course the chicks that bring up the old proverbial question, what came first, the osprey or the egg? Which sort of brings us to the start of the entire process. In this series of images, a male osprey is flying into one of the cypress trees. Take note of his talons. Notice how he's keeping his feet closed, that's because he's about to land on the back of this beautiful female osprey, and he makes the perfect landing ever so gently without ever opening his feet. Okay, let's give these two some privacy and explore some other cypress trees around the lake. One of the great things about photographing the osprey at this lake are the amazing bird and flight photograph opportunities they provide as they come flying in to land on their favorite perches with their incredible talons open and ready to grab hold of those cypress branches. And when you see them come flying in, you can easily set yourself up to capture the entire landing process in all of its magnificent glory. Wow, look at those talons and look at the determination on the bird's face as it comes in for a landing. Simply amazing. And when they land, you often get treated to these amazing wing displays where you can see each and every feather in perfect detail. That early morning light making everything so vibrant, full of color, and provides some amazing contrast. And then you have some that are gracious enough to sit proudly displaying their amazing plumage as they soak up some of that nice warm early morning sunshine. And every once in a while, you will get lucky and spot the ultra super rare one in a million sooty shouldered Southern speedster morph. I hope you know I'm joking here. This is a peregrine falcon and sometimes you find them here too. And on the opposite side of the spectrum, you're also given plenty of opportunity to capture amazing shots of these birds as they ever so graciously leave their perches and sail high into the sky in search of food. And even though the osprey don't actively hunt for fish at this lake, they do often fly in with fresh fish at the ready. Look at this bird. You can easily see that it has managed to eat half of its fish. The most obvious clue is, well, the half of fish hanging in its talons. But look at the size of this bird's crop. That bulging area you see in these shots just below the beak. And yes, it looks like this bird has eaten so much that it might be choking on its fish <laughs> as it flies in. 
This bird was nice enough to look right at me as it flew in with half its eaten fish, and it almost seems to pose for me as it flies by giving us a great view of each side of the bird. Is this my good side? Or is this side better? If you ask me, both sides look spectacular in the early morning light. And sometimes the birds are nice enough to sit still on a cypress branch so you can grab a few shots of them and the fish together for perspective. This particular fish was quite large. I believe it was a speckled perch and I hear those are actually quite tasty fish. But the highlight of shooting osprey at this location is not everything we've seen so far. It's the ability to see this incredible bird in practically every stage of its life. From older birds like this, whose eyes have grown pale with the years, and this one, whose feathers, feet, and beak look weathered and worn from years of constant use. And yes, these older birds are amazing to see and behold, but it's the younger osprey that always draw the most attention, and being able to see one of the adults feed the young osprey chick is always a heartwarming experience in its own unique way. And it never seems to get old either. The young chicks don't fuss too much, but there's always that one exception, like this bird who is more than eager to voice its opinion on the feeding schedule. Notice how the adult has its back to the chick? I don't think that's a coincidence. But this family was nice enough to pose so we could easily see the differences in young and older osprey. The overall size is very evident, but look at those eyes. Young osprey have bright orange eyes, and the eyes get lighter in color the older the bird gets. You can also plainly see the color pattern on the chicks is very different. The chicks have those alternating rows of dark and light browns. Excellent camo while the youngsters sit defenseless in the nest. And when the adults leave, the chicks will often hunker down in the nest and flare out their feathers, which is a good sign that it's time to move on. That behavior can also be found in chicks that are ready to fledge. This bird, being a little older and a little larger, quickly settled into the nest. And notice how the alternating patterns are still there on the wings, but the lighter colors are starting to get a little bit smaller. And this is what a chick who has just fledged the nest looks like. You can tell from the orange eyes, alternating color patterns, and overall lack of experience. This perch belongs to an adult in the family, and the adult has no problems coming in and asserting its dominance over the chick. When I shared this image on social media, many people thought the chick's left wing was a snake. I can clearly see why they would think that it looks just like a snake, but it's not, it's just the chick's wing. When the chick didn't move, the adult came in once again, but these charges were nothing more than a scare tactic, and it eventually worked because the chick ended up flying to a different branch. It's always a treat to photograph these beauties in their many stages of life, but for me, it's the family shots like this that tell the full story here as an adult flies in with a morsel of food while the sibling chicks eagerly look up towards the approaching adult, feeding time for these birds. And then you have shots like this where you have mom and the kids proudly sitting in their spacious home made of sharp sticks and delicate Spanish moss and casually peering out at the curious photographer who is floating by in a bright red kayak. What an amazing place to experience and share with the world. What a, an amazing place full of so many osprey that are just practically posing in perfect light. Um, if you want to join me on a workshop again, you can. Uh, I got a few spots left. There'll be a link in the description. And if you don't, you don't have to do that either. Um, let me know what you thought of this video. Did you have a favorite series of images? I did. I, I kind of like the uh, family shots the best and where you can see the difference in the adults and the young uh, birds is really cool contrast to see that. Um, Click the thumbs up if you haven't done that and share this video if you found it uh, entertaining in any way. That's very helpful. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you should probably do that too. My next video, I'm gonna talk about my first impressions with this lens and the Canon EOS R5. What did I think of it? Um, well, you'll have to subscribe and click the bell to find out. And do I think, or is there anything I don't like about it? You'll have to subscribe and click the bell to find out too. So go ahead and do that if you haven't done that. And until next time, I'll see you later.